It's Neem Williams and today we're going to make a pan fried chicken breast. We're going to top it off with some mozzarella, some fresh mozzarella, a couple tomatoes, some homemade pesto, and a side of asparagus. I hope you enjoy this one. Gather your ingredients, fresh mozzarella, quarter cup pecans, quarter cup freshly grated Parmesan cheese, one clove of garlic, quarter cup olive oil, about one cup basil, some grape tomatoes, asparagus, chicken breast, got salt, pepper, and this right here. This is Bragg seasoning. This is a bunch of herbs and spices. It's really good on your chicken. And some extra oil to fry your chicken in. First, we're gonna make our pesto. Pecans in, Parmesan cheese in, throw it all in there, everything. Basil in, and olive oil in. Nice pinch of salt. Olive oil in. We're only gonna use about half of this clove of garlic. Throw that in there. Blend it nice and smooth, and then you got nice pesto there. Boom. A lot of places make their pesto with pine nuts. I like using pecans, higher in uh, essential fats, and it's delicious, I just prefer it. Butterfly your chicken breast, season them. I put a little bit of Mr. Bragg, some pepper and some salt, boom. Heat up some oil, medium high heat. Enter your chicken. I cook these anywhere from six to eight minutes on each side. Prep your asparagus, cut off about an inch to a half inch from the bottom here. Hit them with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Preheat the oven to 350, 400 degrees. We're gonna throw them in for about 10 minutes, mix them around halfway through, and they're done. See how the cooked chicken is kind of creeping up, the whiteness? That's what you want. So we add some cheese on there. Into the broiler for a minute or two till the cheese melts. Once the cheese is melted some, throw some tomatoes on there. Close it in for another minute. There we have it. Now we add some of our homemade pesto. Beautiful. That's dinner. Hope you enjoy.